Yeah, I should probably do something about that. What's up, survivors? If you're looking to attain the 9mm pistol, the modern axe, or the flask, be sure to check out the timestamps below so that you can skip right to that. I like to make that kind of stuff readily available to you guys. But if you're looking to be entertained, hi, I'm Run7. I've been making content for over two years now, but this is the first time I've taken on something like this before. So be sure to leave comments below and tell me what you'd like to see going forward. I do this live on Twitch Tuesdays and Thursdays, and you're welcome to join me there. Those links are in the description as well. Uh, we did get lost trying to find the 9mm pistol, but I cut most of that out, and we did crash the game once, so if you're wondering why I keep talking about doing things over again, that's why. Without further ado, let's get into it. Let's not glitch this time, we want to play the game. Ding, 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 we got a bullseye, all right. Okay, let's go collect stuff from the beach. Oh, spiders. Got some medicine, don't forget to take your medicine. Eat your medicine right away to get that health bar built up. That's important. Don't forget to do that. First thing we need to do is go directly that way. Here we go. At this point, I wandered around aimlessly for a while, not realizing I had spawned in on a different beach than where I thought I was, when chat found out they had quite a lot of fun with that. You think I'm in the wrong place? Really? Where else could I be? Oh, uh-oh, look at that. We're at the wrong beach, guys. We're at the wrong beach entirely. Yeah, exactly, Viz. Everything's going exactly how I wanted it to do. We're gonna make a, a quick, smooth video here. That's it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go for the modern axe first, and then we're gonna cut over. The modern axe should be this dot right here. I think it's two? Gonna make a bow. And let's make a spear as well. All right, we are gonna go. <laughs> Shut up, Viz. <laughs> it's my first time making a, a PC game video. It takes a little effort. I'm 72% certain that we wanna go for that purple dot. 72% certain. Let's do it. By the way, I get lost in the real woods just as much as I get lost in the woods while playing this game. Like, my father used to take me hunting and send me out in the woods, and I wouldn't come back for the entire day. I think it's getting kind of dark, in fact. We, we might want to build a quick save spot, get some sleep, grab a bite to eat. I'm running, and this is taking forever. Keep in mind, we had to reload the game once. I got lost in the wrong ocean, and then I got sidetracked by a dark hole in the ground. <laughs> We do not engage. Do not engage in battles until you have good weaponry, which is why I wanted the nine millimeter pistol first. I need to go just a little bit further, and then I'm gonna build a safe spot and get some sleep and get a bite to eat. All right, it is morning just like that. Let's get some food, cause it's breakfast time and we need more ramen noodles. One thing you can do if you're short on food is have Calvin collect fish from a fresh water source. It's really easy, then you can cook it or put it on a drying rack and have all the food you can eat. Let's get our handy dandy map out. I'm getting so good with these buttons. Ooh, there's something green right over here. Let's go check this out. We're gonna cross the river. Let's go, Kelvin. We're gonna explore something. We got distracted by shiny things again. I'm supposed to be going for the modern axe and I got distracted. So this is the location of the firefighting axe. However, you need the shovel to get to it. You have the shovel, this is the location. I will show you on the map. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. Gotta have the shovel to get the firefighting axe though. There's the beach with the nine millimeter. And right here where we're at, as you can see, this is where the firefighter axe is, but you need a shovel to get this. We don't have the shovel to start off with, that's why I like going for the modern axe first. <laughs> Do you guys really have nothing better than to heckle me while I make this video? If I didn't have this map in my hand, I would be so lost. I'm filming a show here. The love of God. I wish they gave me a compass to work with. This is terrible. Okay, what was that running over there? We avoid contact with any sentient life whatsoever. We live off the land collecting fruits, nuts, and berries, and plastic tubs which are randomly littered around the, the island. Black and yellows, baby. Find them at Costco on sale, $2.99 a piece. They're awesome. I have dozens of them. My wife hates them. They just stockpile up in our garage. Do you hear the beeping? That means we're close to something. It means we're close to a GPS locator of some sort. There's a dead body. 
Now, I want to see if I can do this. I want to see if I can hit that rope and knock him down without having to climb up there. That would be very cool. Woo! Yeah! It's just that easy, folks. It is just that easy. Looks like a GPS locator. I still don't quite understand what they're for. The flashlight. Flashlight's big. Way better than your, than your lighter for crawling around in the dark. So that was a big win. However, we need the combined act. Okay. We got cannibals in the area, so we gotta be careful. It's kind of hard for me to find. We need to think, jump up here. I think it's right down there. Let's take a look at our handy dandy map locator. All right, we're gonna check, check down and around there. We're gonna see what we can find. Should be down here someplace. I wanna say it's this way. I think it's this way. I could have swore I looked down off of that cliff and went down here. I don't see anything over there. Oh, there it is, there it is, I found it, I found it! See? I know what I'm doing, guys! I'm a pro! <laughs> Once again, uh, music is key. Clues you into things. Get rid of this. Nice dead body, just taking a swim there. Let's turn the music off. Okay, <clears throat> so. <gasps> Don't you dare. Get out of here, go. Go away, shoo. Get, get out of here. Leave me alone, it's mine. All right, so you can see on the mini map here, this is the location of the modern axe. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys so you can see right here. Stuck in this guy's chest. And there you have it. It's just that easy, folks. I'm gonna clean this place out. Oh, break these for microchips. Oh my goodness, get out of here, you guys, get. This is why you don't go into combat with a stick. Okay, let's let's test out the much better weapon, the modern axe. All right, come here, buddy. See, he's afraid of me because I got my big axe. Much better. Now we loot. Okay, so we got the axe. Our next goal is to go get the nine millimeter pistol on the other side of the island, because now we know where I'm at. I'm a much more efficient murderer now. You want this? You want a piece of this? Huh? That's right. You better run away. Let's craft the bone armor. One, two, three, four. There we go, we have one piece of bone armor. You can equip 10 pieces of different armor. Okay, so we came from that beach and we need to go to that beach to get our goodies. Along the way, we could swing to the left and get the flask. Do you guys wanna get the flask or do you want Run7 to attempt to stay on target today? It's up to you guys. I'm gonna let chat pick my direction. Yeah, we're, we're trying to get the nine millimeter pistol and the modern axe. Get the flask, says General Thad. Okay. We're gonna swing over to the green dot, get the flask, and then we'll take down to the, we'll head down to the beach. All right, here we go. I want the pistol so you can be more efficient murderer. <laughs> we'll get there, Ambassador. The flask doesn't take much to get. It's really useful too. I'm already low on, on water, so I kind of have to head over to this creek anyways. So I might as well just go a little bit further, grab the flask, and then water's less of a problem throughout the game. Get a little bit to drink. Let's make sure we're topped off here. Ramen done, what I miss? Uh, we fought some low-level cannibal people. We ate some fish off of a corpse fire. It was delicious. Highly recommend you try it out. Okay, we're coming up. I think this is it. All right, this is an easy one. No enemies in sight. What's this? A stick, okay, and a small rock. Okay, so we're gonna put away our gear because we won't need it. So we just entered the cave with a 3D printer. We're gonna print ourselves a flask and any of the tech armor that we can afford to do. All right, first, I like to run down here and grab these couple of goodies and then head back in. Got some wire, I need that. A wristwatch, and I believe this is some money and a wristwatch, cool. And then down here is a blue door. <clears throat> you could use the stick trick to clip through that door. I'll show you guys real fast. 
I don't want to do it because I, I don't like cheating in video games. So what you would do is come down here and you can plant sticks in the ground by going to the circle. And you would just simply come up to the door. Oh, did they patch it? I think they patched it. Oh no, okay, so here. If I plant the stick, the, the mechanism pushes you through the door to the other side and you don't even need the key card. But I don't like cheating in video games and I don't wanna know what's on the other side of that door until I find it for myself. Did I just squirrel again? I'm sorry. Okay, and here is the room with a 3D printer over there. It already has a bunch of the ink in it or whatever you call that stuff. Oh, the resin, it has the 3D resin printer in it. But uh, you find lots of this all over the island randomly. And uh, it does take quite a bit, as you can see on the wall. 250 milliliters for each piece, times 10 pieces if you want a full set of the tech armor. Wire, some more printer resin, some tape, all was handy. Batteries, they basically give you everything you need to make about two pieces of tech armor. So then we come over here. Let's uh, print the flask first, because we definitely need that. I'm not printing a flashlight, Vizera. I do want more arrows, so I'm gonna go ahead and print that. Okay, got some arrows, and now to print some tech mesh. So it looks like I can make three more pieces of this tech mesh armor. Making it happen with Run7. Today we're making tech armor. What's the joke? A zucchini, some bubble gum, a paper clip, and a 12 ounce bottle. I've made bongs with less, dude, just go get it. Ah, oh, I love you guys. You guys just make playing video games so much more fun. There we go, we're geared up, everybody. We're geared up. Okay, all right, let's go. We're gonna go fill up our water bottle. Let there be light. Thank you. You guys are full of jokes today. All right, we have the flask. And since we are thirsty, let's go use it. Here we go, we got a full flask of water. Water, no longer a problem. Man, I got, I got plenty of time, right? Plenty of time. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I like dumb jokes. We're gonna look at our handy dandy map. We're headed in the correct direction. We're gonna beeline it straight down this river and we need to equip a weapon of some sort like this ought to be good. You know what, we could go with the bow. Let's go with the car, what, what was that? Oh, it's Kelvin, hey Kelvin. Nice of you to join us. He's gonna sit down and take a break. That's okay, buddy. You go ahead and take a break. We've been making things and building stuff. You go ahead and take a break. Ooh, look at this. Grenades, yeah! You want some of this, huh? You want some of this? That's right. Did I get him? I think I hit the dirt beneath him. I'm just wasting arrows here, I feel like. Nah, Calvin, we're gonna leave that guy. Let's, let's go. Let's go, buddy. We got stuff to do. We can't just shoot at those cannibal people. We gotta go collect stuff. I got a gun to collect, dang it. We're making a video here, don't you know? All right, all water sources lead to the ocean. Just ignore the headless skeleton that was killed in ritual style. Yeah, no big deal. We're on Sons of the Forest, baby. We find skeletons all the time. Look, there it is. Can you guys see it? Do you see it? We found it this time. Okay, we're gonna go across the shoreline because there's usually goodies along the shore. Oh, I hear a radio. It's always a good sign. Okay, energy drink, meals ready to eat, awesome. There's the rail to the pistol. Some bullets and a watch. We're gonna save. And then we're gonna test out throwing a grenade. I've never thrown a grenade before. I'm gonna try just throwing it to see what happens. Oh, it pulls the pin. Okay. Okay, that was a little closer. I probably should throw them further. Doing the left trigger does nothing. What are you covering your ears for? You're already deaf. My goodness. And we're gonna run straight out to this thing because we saved our game. All right, as you can see on my map, we're out uh, about ready to go tackle the nine millimeter pistol. It is shark infested waters. I've never been attacked by a shark as to date. So we're gonna try and swim out there, conserve the ammo and just swim back, not shooting at the sharks. Let's uh, see if it works. Shark infested waters, here we go. <laughs> Raider wants me to die. He's hoping I see a shark. We're just gonna beeline it straight there. All right, we made it. We made it. Let's get ourselves some goodies. There's a flare and another flare and a meal ready to eat. Uh, we got enough flares. Boom, the pistol, all right. And we got another GPS locator, awesome. There's a shark. 
<laughs> I just tossed that flare into the water because I hit the wrong button. <laughs> and we have a shark in the water hunting us. Where is he? Where'd he go? Okay, I think the coast is clear. We're gonna run and jump and just swim like the dickens for the shoreline. I don't see any sharks. Okay, here we go. And we're going. Fingers crossed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, ah! There's a shark in the water. Get away from me. Is he staying away? Is he staying away or is he chasing me? I'm backstroking here, doing the backstroke. Let's go, let's go. I think we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna make it. Calvin's on the shore cheering me on. Here we go. Yes. We made it, folks. We made it. Suck it, sharks. You got nothing on me. Let's check out this beautiful pistol. Oh, there it is. Hey, we can combine it with the rail, the pistol rail. Let's do that. There we go. Awesome. There we go. By the way, I can kill turtles, but I refuse to do that. Yeah, there we go. That's right. Half tempted, half tempted. All right, so we found our modern axe, we found our pistol. Only took me an hour and a half of gameplay, but that's because I got lost on the beach there. Uh, if you want to follow along, join me next time for the next video. We're going to take on some other challenges, go a little deeper into Sons of the Forest, and see what we can do with these new weapons that we just acquired.